the Sophie and Toffee boxes are just coming in thick and fast at the moment. So <laughs> I'm gonna try and get through this unboxing thick and fast too, because your girl is on limited time. However, <laughs> I'm excited to see what is inside of the May Elves box. The theme is dinosaurs. Now, I may not be a paleontologist. I may not be the hugest fan of dinosaurs. However, I do have a six-year-old son who loves them. So there probably will be something in here that I can make for him. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and let's get into this box. Now, I would like to know please in the comments, are you a massive fan of dinosaurs? Let me know, are you big on them? Are you a little bit like eh, not particularly fussed? I like cute cartoon looking dinosaurs, okay? <laughs> like that's more my sort of vibe. If they look a little bit too realistic, I'm a bit like eh. <laughs> Anyway, um, the box today, absolutely gorgeous. Silver stars today, not holographic. So yes, I've noticed the difference. Very, very nice. Um, for once, <laughs> the wrapping paper actually matches the theme. They've been wrapping the elves boxes up in dinosaur paper for quite some time and they changed the inside of the box as well, but it's never actually matched the theme. So <laughs> today is the first day. Now, let's get into the box. If you are brand spanking new to Sophie and Toffee, by the way, if you've never even heard of Sophie and Toffee, basically they are an incredible craft store whereby you can get lots of different crafts of different styles, but they also have a variety of subscription boxes. Mainly resin crafts is what they specialize in. And this one here is the Elves box. So keep on watching. And if you think to yourself, I might want to jump on board and, you know, maybe subscribe to, uh, to their service, I do have a discount code in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out now. <laughs> I like to do my unboxings with a, uh, with a slightly less informed <laughs> brain. <laughs> Basically, I don't like spoilers. I try to avoid them if I can. This is the booklet. We'll look at that in just a second. Okay, so we're gonna just stick hands in. I'm gonna try and get through this quickly if I can. This is bezels. Do we have dinosaur bezels? Ooh, oh my goodness. That's like a Yoshi egg. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, this clearly looks like a Yoshi egg to me. Super Mario lovers, hello. Can we not see a Yoshi egg right here? Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. Now you guys are gonna have to fill me in on like which dinosaurs are which. Hang on, let me just get that to focus. There we go, because <laughs> I don't know all of them. I do have a friend, hello Lucy, if you're watching, darling, who's probably gonna scream out the names of all of these types of dinosaurs. I'm not even gonna bother to say any of them because I know that I'm gonna get some of them wrong. I just know it, I know it, I know it. Is that, is that, is that a Diplodocus? The one with the long, long neck? Or is it an Apatosaurus? It looks more like a Diplodocus. Listen, I said I wasn't gonna say because I don't wanna get it wrong and I don't wanna look silly. <laughs> oh, we've got one hatching out of an egg. Oh, okay, this is really, really cute. This is super duper cute. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. You know, you can make these look so cute. It all depends on what expression that you give them on their faces. These can be absolutely adorable. And they'd actually make really nice um, individual necklaces, I think. I think that they're a bit much for a bracelet, but I think individual necklaces will look really nice. Okay, we all know what that one is. But <laughs> yeah, I think that that will look really nice. Oh, and they've even got the feet as well. Oh, this is super cool. Dinosaur fans, this is a brilliant box already. Okay. Oh, have I just dropped something? Yes, I have. Oh, it was just some jump rings. It's okay, nothing nothing too exciting there. Interesting that we've got gold jump rings with silver bezels. There might be something else in here to do then that um, that has gold finishings or something like that because I wouldn't usually mix gold findings with silver bezels or whatever. Anyway, this is a pigment. What color are you? Oh, okay. I suppose it is kind of like a dinosaur green-ish. It's a little bit, a little bit on the murky side, I think that green. <laughs> Not quite my flavor, but it is very natural, isn't it? It is very natural. I'm not expecting lots and lots of glitter in this box. I'm expecting more earthy tones. Um, speaking of glitter, is this glitter or is it sand? 
No, it's actually glitter. I'm surprised. However, it is glitter of an earthy tone. <laughs> it's a kind of, um, kind of like a sort of brownish red or a reddish brown with the uh, fleckles of silver in there. A very nice combination, actually. I wasn't expecting glitter. That actually might be more of a of a powder. Let me just check that. Hold on. That could actually be a mica powder. Do you know I might actually spill this? I don't want to spill this. <laughs> yeah. That's how it looks on my skin. Bear in mind, I have brown skin, so obviously, like the silver is going to show up a lot more on me. But um, yeah, it feels quite gritty. That's 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 more of a powder, but it feels a little bit on the sandy side as well. Okay. Let's see. What do we have next? Um, oh, what's that? I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. What is it? Oh, it's a mold. It just felt really, um, really, really hard. So I wasn't sure. Are these teeny tiny dinosaurs? Oh. Oh, and these ones are even smaller. Oh my goodness. These are so small. Oh my gosh. What is this for though? Hold on. Okay, it's got a little note in here that says, this silicon hole maker is for the missing hole in one of the fossils mold. Okay, so we have a set of fossils. This might be T-Rex fossils, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm just going by the shape of the skull. But I think maybe one of them has a little, a little hole nubbin thing missing. I'm not entirely sure. Um, gonna, have to, gonna have to look into that. Um, but look at this, look at these are so tiny. And then we also got this. I'm not sure if this is meant to be used as like a um, like a stand maybe for your fossil once you completed it. Perhaps, not entirely sure. We'll find out shortly. Oh, see, this is more my bag. Cute dinosaurs. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee. Okay. <laughs> when they look a bit too realistic, I'm like, eh. But when they look like this, <laughs> I'm like, yay. <laughs> I promise I am 34, I promise. I know I act like a child, but I promise you I'm 34. Anyway, <laughs> how cute are these? Oh, I can definitely make something for my son with these. I like that they've all got the little nubbins in there so that you can actually like immediately make them into like jewelry or keychains or phone charms. Do people still put phone charms on their phones? I don't know, or is that just like an early 2000s thing? <laughs> but you can make stuff like that immediately because it's already going to make a hole for you so that is super duper cute they are so sweet oh, i'm happy about those <laughs> okay uh oh another pigment okay the first one was like a bogey green so let's say maybe a brown look at that <laughs> spot on spot on coffee gray they call it yeah it kind of i suppose is on the more kind of like grayer grayer side of brown really isn't it okay it does actually match this very well. This is another mold. It feels like a cup, maybe a vase of some sort, or an egg perhaps. Can we make a little terrarium? Is that what we're doing? This looks like an egg of some sort. I feel like we can make like a little terrarium out of this with our teeny tiny dinosaurs. <laughs> look so adorable and you don't have to limit it to just dinosaurs you can do anything in, in a in a in a mold like this you could make a little mini aquarium make it into like a paperweight or something that's pretty cool you could even do like an easter thing i know easter has gone a long time ago but you can do like an easter themed thing in an egg shaped mold like this oh we have some resin is this scented resin it's in a tube Color changing resin. Ooh, so this one goes from red to yellow by the looks of it, or yellow to red. That's cool. Something very, very small. Oh, okay. These are the hole makers. Okay, makes sense now. I think that this is what they were um, referring to. These are used to make holes in your resin projects. So if you want to, to make them into jewelry, this is actually really handy because I make a lot of resin jewelry um, and it would save me having to draw holes in it. So yeah, brilliant. Kind of a blessing in disguise that one of the molds came with a missing nubbin. Okay, what is this? Oh, confetti? That feels like confetti. Confetti! Ooh, we have some rainbow dinosaurs here. These would look really cute inside of this terrarium as well, actually. 
having a little rainbow party. This is uh, 100 grams of epoxy resin. This is their fast curing resin, or fast-ish curing. It cures within 12 hours, this one. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Quite a lot, there's quite a lot in this box. Is this a light? Yes, it is. Um, probably gonna be another, another warm white one, but I'll just double check it. Oh, so this goes underneath here. Ah, okay, I got you. So we're making a lamp. Okay, wonderful. By the way, guys, speaking of lamp, did you see my Winter Deer Wonderland lamp that I made that I'm gonna be putting up at Christmas time? If not, I have it literally right next to me. Hold on. Check this bad boy out. Isn't it so, so cool? It's so, so pretty and it also glows in the dark. So if you haven't seen this video, make sure that you do go ahead and check it out afterwards and you can see how I put this all together. I really, really enjoyed this craft. As I thought, this is a warm white light. I think it's quite generous that they're giving us a lot of light stuff now. Um, we've had quite a few of these and I am here for it. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, that's very thin. Um, I'm gonna guess like a film with some dinosaur transfers, or maybe some stickers perhaps. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> These are so cute. They look just like the ones that are in the mold. This is adorable. This has definitely given me like Barney vibes for sure. This is so, so cute. Oh my gosh, Riley, my son, he's gonna absolutely love these. <laughs> these will be really nice inside of shakers as well, actually. Um, and you can even, you can cut these out and you can put them Maybe, maybe two possibly, no, probably not three. Two at the most, I would say. You can, you can put them in your little uh, terrarium and make it into a little, a little lamp. That's so cute. Or maybe you could make one for each dinosaur and give them all their own home. Oh, that would be so cute. Oh my gosh. Please let me know, by the way, because I like to do little brainstorming sessions in these unboxings. Let me know what you would make with the stuff that you've seen me unbox so far, okay? A tiny bit of gold chain. So this must be for any jewelry that you decide to make and then that's why we got the golden jump rings. Okay, just wanna really quickly have a little flick through the booklet just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Wanna make sure that I have everything. Oh, I see. Oh, so this, this isn't, a, this isn't to make a stand for your little dinosaur fossil. These are rings. I didn't even realize those are ring molds. Okay. That is super duper cute. So the teeny tiny dinosaurs are to make itty bitty little rings. How cute is that? Okay, so what they suggest is um, using the um, cute dinosaur mold to um, create a little like uh, terrarium light for it. So you can use that or you could even use the little um, uh, dinosaurs that were on the film that I showed you. Um, and they also, suggests that with uh, with the uh, T-Rex fossil, that you use the jump rings, sort of like hook them all together. So it can kind of like jiggle around a little bit. That will make such a cool necklace. Oh my God, do you know, do you know, even though I am not a big dinosaur fan, I have to say, I'm actually quite impressed. <laughs> And I actually will be making some of these things, not just for my son, but you know, I might get involved as well because some of these dinosaurs are super duper cute. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think of this box. Do you think that there are quite a lot of decent crafts in here? Is it just not really your thing? Do of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'd love to know what you're planning on making if you have this box. Usually, if you like what you see and you've missed the chance to actually get this box, Sophie and Toffee do release all the items individually on their site so then you can sort of just like pick and choose what you want but whatever you do make sure that you do check out my discount code in the description box below so you can save yourself a pretty penny because if I'm getting hooked up I do my very best to make sure that you are getting hooked up too <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video then please do share it along with a friend and if you haven't already and you are loving the vibe then just subscribe so that you don't miss the next video take care my darlings and I'll see you all soon bye